Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to log into Minecraft Launcher. And if you are receiving this error code, that is 0x80045C3C, we couldn't sign you into Xbox Live. So if you are receiving this error message, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer and then try again. So just restart your computer and after that, open Minecraft Launcher and then try to log in. The next step is to update Minecraft Launcher. For this, open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now in the search box, type in Minecraft Launcher. And then click on Minecraft Launcher. Now if there is any update for Minecraft Launcher, you will see the update option over here. Now go to library on the bottom left, click on library. And on the right hand side on the top here, you can see the option which says get updates. Click on get updates. Once all the updates are installed, now you can open Minecraft Launcher and then try to log in. Now the next step is to repair or reset Minecraft Launcher. So type in Minecraft Launcher in Windows search box and then make a right click on Minecraft Launcher and then click on app settings. Now this will open Windows settings and then scroll down. Here you can see the repair option. So click on repair. And once the repair is done, open Minecraft Launcher and then log in. If that does not resolve the problem, then click on Reset, Reset. And after the reset, open Minecraft Launcher and then try to log in. Now the next step is to run WS Reset command. So type in WS Reset in Windows search box and then click on WS Reset. Now this will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. Now the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now you can log into Minecraft Launcher. Now the next step is to close Minecraft Launcher. So if Minecraft Launcher is open, close it and then open Microsoft Store. And on the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on Sign Out. Again, click on Sign In. Select the right account, then click on Continue. Now on this screen, it will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password over here. Now, once logged in, now you can open Minecraft Launcher and then try to log in with same account. So use the same account on Microsoft Store and same account on Minecraft Launcher. Now, the next step is to make sure date, time, time zone and reason is correct on your computer. On the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time, then click on adjust date and time. Make sure set time automatically is on over here. In Windows 10, you will find set time zone automatic, automatically. Make sure that is also on in Windows 11. Select the right time, time zone from here and then click on sync now. Make sure that you click on sync now. Now, once the sync is done, you can open Minecraft Launcher and then log in. Also make sure right region is selected. So click on region and then make sure right country is selected over here. And now open Minecraft Launcher and then log in. Now the next step is to make sure gaming services and Xbox identity provider is installed. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Copy this link actually, and then it will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Xbox identity provider. Click on get. It will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So open Microsoft store. And then you will find my uh, Xbox identity provider over here. And if Xbox identity provider is not installed, you will see the install option or get option over here. In my case, this is already installed, so th there is no button. Now, uninstall and reinstall gaming services. To uninstall gaming services, copy this command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now, paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services. Once done, run the second command. Copy this on the same window, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. This will again open Microsoft Store and you will see the install option to install gaming services. Now click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the gaming service install. Now once the download is complete, after the download, open Minecraft Launcher and then try to log in. Now the next step is to delete Xbox Live login credential. For this, type in credential manager in Windows search box and then click on credential manager. 
Now go to Windows Credentials. Now over here you will find XBL device key or XBL GRTS device key. So you might find one of the entry or you might find both the entry over here. So in my case, it's XBL GRTS device key. Click on it and then click on remove. Click on yes to allow. After this, restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the restart, open Minecraft launcher and then log in. Now the next step is to start all these services. So type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper. Set it to automatic and then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find all the Xbox services. At the end, here you can see all the Xbox services. Make a double click on all the Xbox services one by one. Set the startup type as automatic, then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set it to automatic. Apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, set it to automatic, then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Set it to automatic, apply, start, OK. Now find gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running over here. If it's not running, then make a right click, then click on start. If it's already running, then stop it and then restart the service. So make a right click, then stop. And then again, make a right click and then click on start. So restart the service. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, then click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now open Minecraft Launcher and then log in. Now the next step is to uninstall Minecraft Launcher, restart your computer and then reinstall Minecraft Launcher. So type in Minecraft Launcher in Windows search box and then make a right click on Minecraft Launcher, then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer and then open Microsoft Store and then Type in Minecraft Launcher in the search box and then click on Minecraft Launcher and install Minecraft Launcher from store and then try to log in. Now the next step is to uninstall Minecraft Launcher once again. So type in Minecraft Launcher once again and then make a right click then click on uninstall, uninstall. After the uninstall, restart your computer. And after you restart the computer, install the Minecraft Launcher from Minecraft website. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Now here you can see download for Windows 10 and 11. Click on download and then run the exe file, install the launcher and then try to log in. Still you are receiving the error message. In that case you can use, you can download, download for Windows 7 and 8. So uninstall the launcher once again. So uh, before you install the Windows 7 or 8 version, uninstall it. Now after you uninstall it, restart your computer, then download for Windows 7 and 8 and then run the file and install the Windows 7 or 8 version of Minecraft Launcher. So one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.